No other person can train and discipline that child as you will if you are a true mother. No other person can take the place of a mother. Therefore, mothers should love their children above fame, above fortune, above beauty, houses, and also social prestige. Children should come first in the heart of a mother. And they should forsake all except her husband to give her love, time, and attention to that child. The best friend any child would ever have on the face of this earth is a godly and consecrated mother who truly loved him or her. A godly and truly consecrated mother. They're going to love that baby. One thing about these young folk nowadays, they don't want to be godly. They don't want to consecrate themselves. But let me share something with you. You are passing down, you said that, you are passing down a legacy. And one thing about behavior, especially, well, since it's Mother's Day, I'm not talking about mother. One thing about behavior from a little child, that's the reason why the Bible said, raise up a child in the ammunition of the Lord. When he grow old, when she grow, he will not depart. Amen. And so it's hard raising up children in the ammunition of the Lord, especially when we are double agent. You know what I mean by double agent? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? One minute you consecrated, amen. You filled with the Holy Ghost yeah. and fire. And the next minute, amen, you act like you don't even know Jesus. Right. And so what the what the what the children are seeing is that because of the mother, you have this, you have this emotional attachment with your child because you gave birth to that child. Right. Amen. So that child is, is emotionally and physically and spiritually attached to you. And so it's watching your behavior. Amen. And so what he's doing or what she's doing is that she's mimicking her mom. Right. That's the reason why when, when males don't have that, 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 that male influence, you know, uh, in their lives, they mimic their mom and they have what? Feminine ways. So there's a balance there. You're right. And so when, 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 when mothers, especially single mothers, when you have to, you know, uh, be the, you know, have that, that, you can't be, it's impossible to be a father figure, you're, you're female. But you can have that influence on your child with some stern authority, especially the boy. You know, where you, you know, you, you see him, you know, Acting strange, you know. You tell boy, you ain't. You, you, I got two dollars here. <laughs> no, I have two here. You ain't. No, no, no. Get out there and kick that ball. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go out and throw it to you. <laughs> hey Amen. I mean, let's move on. Can I move on? Can I move on? So, the next thing I see in the text. He said that young women ought to be discreet. Mm. You know, and, and the same Greek word, you know, is the translated temperate. In other words, young women are to live a life uh, of license within the home and out of public. And so in other words, you ain't got no business out partying. Mm. You ain't got no business, you know, uh, indulging in, in, in all this stuff that goes on in the world. You have no business in that. Mm. He said be discreet, be temperate. You know, you have children at home, amen. You dressing up, amen, putting on those shorts. <laughs> can, can, I, can I be real this morning? Be real. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You got five or six at home because you wore that short thing. Come uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you, you, you got five or six at home, you know, because, you know, you, you, you went out, you weren't temperate, you weren't discreet, and so you went out, amen, you know, you know, drawing attention to yourself, amen. You know, you said, look here, young mothers, amen, you have a children, you have children at home, you have a husband at home, love your husband, love your 
children and be discreet. Why I want to marry somebody who's showing themselves to the world? <laughs> and then we don't understand why the family is so dysfunctional. Yeah. Yeah. And why there's such a breakdown in the family unit is because the family, the mother, Played a major role in the nucleus of the family. That's right. right. Believe me when I tell you this here, young mothers. Influence is something that doesn't necessarily happen immediately, especially when it comes down to husbands. Influence happens immediately with children because if they don't do what you tell them to do, you just go ahead on. Kind of business with them. Sometimes you can be the influence. <laughs> but influence among couples are earned over a period of time. Why? It's because influence cannot be with selfish motives. In other words, if I'm going to influence you or have an influence upon you, I'm going to have an influence upon you based upon my actions in the past. And so in other words, if you want me to hear what you're saying, then you have to create an environment where I can hear what you're saying. Because a lot of environment in the home are very chaotic. One is because of a mother not being discreet and temperate. Right. Right. What do you got to say to me if you're showing me, or it's not only showing me, but showing the world your thighs? Mm -hmm. well, what, what kind of influence you going to have on me that every time I look around, you want to go hang out with the girls and hang out, you know, when it's Mother's Day with the girls, but you have children and a husband at home? Yeah. Now let me move on. I, I just need to drop that in there. Oh, yeah. Then he went on to say in the text that young women and young mothers, you know, you ought to be chaste. In other words, you ought to be pure morally and sexually. To be pure and foul and not. The Bible said that to the pure, all things are pure. Now, let me say something. You know, I work out for one reason, one reason only. Yeah, I know, maybe two reasons. Maybe two or three. But the main reason is you want to stay in shape. Yeah. But I want to give her something to look at. Come on now. All right. Come on now. All right. All right. I want to give her something that she look at, hey man, she jumped. I don't want her to go look at someone else and jump. Uh -uh. So I keep this thing fit, you know, for her. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you got, you got, you have, you have some stuff in the world where you got, you know, you know, some of them do, you know, they they, they all at a bag of chips, but they ain't seen what you are and what what she has. But one thing they don't know, one thing they don't understand is this here. He just didn't make himself. She helped make him. Come on. So she ain't out there showing all this other stuff, you know, and, and trying to be this and trying to be that. The Bible says for her to what? Love her husband. And so if she loves her husband, she ain't going to show the world what her husband is. She ain't going to be out there with impure thoughts and stuff. You know what I'm saying? These sexual thoughts. And you got a husband and children at home in your mind somewhere else. Can I talk a little bit? Come on. Young mother, that's why they say older women, teach these young women. One is because you've been down that path. You know what down that path? They listen to me preaching. They listen to me talking. All this other stuff. They gonna say, "Well, what 
what can you tell? I can only tell you what the Holy Ghost gives me. Amen. But one thing I'm going to tell you, listen to the mothers of the church. They tell you, honey, pull that dress down. Don't get mad. Pull it down. They see something happening with your child. Amen. Don't get mad. Just, just receive it. Why? Because they see something that you probably just don't see. Amen. 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 And so it says to be checked. In other words, young mothers, you ought to have pure thoughts, not impure thoughts. Amen. I'm going to tell you what has gripped society in the culture of this world. Amen. Pornography. Amen. It, it, it's running rampant. Amen. Yeah. You see, you don't have to go outside. All you do is turn on the TV. Right. 